Hi there YouTube. Uh, here I just wanted to show off my uh, Mac emulator. I have uh, OS 8.1 uh, running off of it. Uh, here you can see my desktop. This is a uh, Windows 7 Ultimate 32-bit. Uh, running on a Pentium 4 3 gigahertz with 3 gigabytes uh, DDR RAM. Uh, 320 gig SATA Western Digital Hard Drive. Uh, generic uh, DVD drive and a floppy drive. Uh, now I'm going to show you some of the features of uh, Basilisk 2, the emulator I'll be using today. Uh, we'll go through some of the options really quick. Uh, here's just the general information. Uh, for RAM, I have 64 megabytes set aside. Uh, over here, I have the, I'm using the Mac Quadra 900 ROM uh, to run it. Screen, uh, we're just using uh, Windows GDI. Uh, we're running it in 256 colors because some of these old games get a little picky with anything higher. Uh, under disk, I have uh, a few images, H HFV images. One of them is uh, the main operating system. The other one is just, uh, random files. Another one is disk images for older operating systems. And the other one right here is for all my classic games. At one point, I did have I have Internet Explorer 4.0 inside the image, but for some reason, I only got it to work once uh, off my networking card. I had to play around with that and get that to work because that was pretty cool. Uh, audio, I just uh, you know have uh, everything at default. CD-ROM, I have both my uh, optical drives used, and on the floppy drive, I had to hit I believe it's Control Shift F11 for it to mount the disc. Um, and that's about it for the settings. Now we're going to boot into the Mac OS. Oops, where's my tab? There we go. Uh, here's the desktop for OS 8.1. Uh, uh, we got the 64 megs. It's showing that uh, 56 megs, 56 and a half megs is not used. So, you know, this is just basically running like a Mac. Uh, now let's uh, check out some of the uh, older programs I have installed. Uh, we'll go with the classic Claris Works. Every uh, school computer or whatever school computers were Macs in, uh, in the early 90s uh, at the Chicago Public Schools, they had Claris Works and basically all these games that I have today still. So we'll check it out. Um, in my opinion, Claris Works was the best office program I've ever used. Uh, let's just go into painting. You can just draw whatever, you get some really cool colors. Looks really good for uh, being only running in 256 colors. We'll just exit out of that. Don't save. Um, now we're going to check out some of these older games. My person, I have a bunch of my favorites. My uh, real favorite is Space Junkie 1.2. I had hell finding this online, but finally I found a working copy. So let's run it. Not yet. Actually, I was playing this last night, so I turned the background music off because I was playing some of my other, from my own music. And you guys probably remember this. This is, a, this is a really, really good classic. It's got some cool music to it, too. start checking out some of the other games I have installed. Um, actually, before we do that, uh, I would like to show you all the operating system images I have. Just open that up. We got stuff for DOS and Windows. We even got some, oh wow, even got some uh, Apple Lisa ROMs on here. And just a whole other uh, old school Apple stuff. Um, let's see. Now let's just go into games and apps. Uh, I got this uh, ISO off some Mac form. It has all the all bunch of old uh, programs, all the freeware stuff. But uh, today we're just gonna look at the games. Another one of my favorite games back in the day was uh, Mac Brickout. It's just, it's just I can't remember what uh, game of clone. I know it's uh, from an Atari. But for some reason that doesn't work correctly on uh, this emulator. I mean, see, so I get this error 22 for sound. And, you know, it just doesn't run correctly, but still a cool game for its time. You can see that the ball's moving slow as hell. Even when you bounce it off the paddle. I have this, uh... Let me put that out. 
I have this uh, paddle speed all the way on max and it still doesn't work. Yeah, let's exit out of that. Now we're gonna do uh, Tetris Max. If I can find it. There we go. I mean, this has got some really cool music. I even, back when I had my Mac Classic, I actually had this running in black and white. It was pretty cool. But since the Mac Classic only had an 8 megahertz processor, I, I, I couldn't run the music with it. But still, it's pretty cool. Uh, let's see. We'll just play a quick round of Tetris here. Let me turn that down. They have some other music uh, on here. We'll play that one next. Let's go under preferences. Let's try this one. We'll just do one more game called uh, Glypha 3. It's, I mean, it's a weird game, but it's really, really addic addictive. Uh, let me just find it. I had so much crap on here. There we go. We'll just start that. It's like a weird jousting game, but it's pretty cool. Alright, well, this uh, pretty much concludes the demonstration of my Mac OS emulator. Uh, so we'll just go back into Windows by shutting it down. Now we're back to the Windows 7 desktop. Uh, so thank you guys for viewing. Please uh, rate and comment. And if, you, if you're interested in seeing some old games, drop me a, uh, drop me a comment and I'll see if I got them. Thank you.